Sweet George Foreman, why are my vegetables grilled yet? Ah, oh, that outlet is tripped. Well, you showed up at the right time. I'm going to show you a few of the common electrical problems that we run into in the house, such as your uh, GFI tripping, your breakers tripping in the panel, your arc fault breakers tripping. Pay attention and I'll show you how to reset these common problems and you'll be able to take care of yourself. All right, first, if you run into this problem where you see that the outlet is tripped, you see the light is on. What you want to do is make sure that your appliance is unplugged and just go ahead and hit the button on the right, press it fully, you're going to hear it click, the light's going to go off. You should have power there now. If not, go ahead over to your other outlets, make sure none of those are tripped. You might, you'll see the light on there. I'm just going to hit the test button for now to demonstrate. You see the light is on there. Press that one. You should have power back on now. If not, there could be a problem in the breaker panel, and we'll take a look at that in a minute. But also remember, you may not have a button or a reset button or a test button on the outlets. They're all in the same circuits, all in the same GFI, but they don't have those. So you got to make sure you reset the ones on the same circuit as those that do not have a reset button or the test light. These are all found in the wet areas, in the kitchen, in the bathrooms, and on the exterior of the house where any water can cause the ground to trip. Now let's take a look at an electrical panel and I'll show you how to reset those breakers. All right, now we're in the garage, we're at the breaker panel. Open the door. If you still don't have power back on on your GFI, come down here, you might find one of these breakers tripped. It'll be in an off position. Make sure you switch it all the way to the fully off position if it's not, and then all the way back on. And then go back inside the kitchen or bathroom or outside and make sure that your reset button is fully depressed and then try your appliance again. If it still keeps tripping, you may have a problem with the appliance and you may need to get that checked out. Or there also be a problem with the breaker itself and the only way to fix that is have a qualified electrician replace it. Don't attempt that yourself. The other set of breakers you're going to see up here are the arc fault breakers. They're on your standard outlets and your lighting. Now those, they have a test button here. I'm going to press it to show you what it looks like if it's tripped. You see it moves to the halfway position. If you have a problem with one of your outlets inside other than the wet areas that are on a GFI, this is the breaker that will trip. Any number of these is broken up across the house in your different bedrooms and it's all labeled. What you want to do is make sure you go all the way to the off position first, then go all the way back to the on position. You will see the test light come on. It's checking to make sure that the breaker is fine. It's gone off, so you should have power again. If not, again, check the appliance that you have connected to it. Make sure there's no problem with that. These also can go bad. If it, if it keeps flipping back to the halfway or fully off position as soon as you turn it on, like you switch it on and it pops right back right away, there could be a problem with the breaker itself or that appliance. And remember, these are rated by amps. This is a 15 amp breaker. If you're trying to plug something into it or multiple things into the same circuit that's more than 15 amps, you're going to trip it. So you need to unplug that, at least one of the appliances, to get down below the maximum amperage of the breaker. And every once in a while, you can test these. If you, if you hit the test button, it'll switch to the halfway point. Again, all the way back to the off position, all the way back to the on position. You'll see the light turn on. It's checking itself. When the light goes off, you know that's working properly. As I said earlier, you have GFIs in all your wet areas, like your bathroom and your outlets outside. If you trip it, your hair dryer, that's a common problem. I'll demonstrate with the test button. You see the light comes on, press it again, it should reset, the light comes off. If not, check your breaker panel like I showed you earlier. If it still keeps tripping, it could be a problem with that appliance or with the outlet or breaker itself like I explained earlier. Next, I'll show you the exterior outlets and how to reset those. All right, we're on the exterior of the house now where you find your boxes. They have a lid, open them up, you'll see your outlets. Again, these are GFIs to keep you from getting electrocuted when you're barbecuing. Test button, you see the light comes on. If you trip something, you'll see that light. Hit the reset button, you should have power. Again, not every outlet has the test and reset button and the light. You need to find the one that does and reset it and the other outlet should work. Well, I hope I answered some of your questions on the common electrical problems and how to reset your outlets and your breakers. And uh, now it's time to finish grilling these vegetables. But the one question I have, what the heck am I supposed to do with this? I better call Dr. Berry and find out what it is first. <laughs>